And good evening, everyone. More than two dozen students at Ohio State University are battling the mumps. Some of them are from right here in the Miami Valley. But even if you've been vaccinated, why is this disease from the mm. 60s making a comeback? Jackie Kutcher went searching for answers and she joins us now in the studio. What'd you find, Jack? Well, basically those vaccinations only protect you 80% of the time. They wish it was 100%, right? And all it takes is one person to be exposed and turns out a local doctor is treating one of those OSU students right now. Yeah, this is yours. Let me listen to you. It's Liliana's one year checkup with Dr. Rower. It's not gonna be a fun day. We're gonna get the measles, the MMR, uh, the chicken pox. Hepatitis. I'm hearing stories about things coming back. We heard about measles coming back, and so um, I don't want to risk that with her. Mary Calvert's also heard about the mumps at Ohio State University. But what about the vaccination for this 1960s virus? The MMR vaccine Liliana took like a champ today. Dr. Sherman Alter is with Dayton Children's. Protection from even two vaccines is not 100%. We wish it was 100% and it wasn't. It's better than a single vaccine. It's unusual to get an outbreak of mumps, you know, especially with the vaccinations that are going around. But once you get mumps, it's not uncommon in close quarters like dorms or, or frat houses to spread the disease pretty quickly. Dr. Rower had one of the OSU students infected in his office yesterday. Sore, sore, tender, fever, tired, the usual symptoms that go along with mumps. Dr. Rower fears with so many families skeptical of vaccinations and deciding to forgo them, we'll see more of these old diseases and viruses resurface. We did some reading on it and um, I, I think it's a, a hard decision. We have a lot of good friends who are on the other side of the decision, but um, yeah, I just I want to keep her protected from everything. And a lot of parents are skeptical of vaccines, especially the MMR, because a doctor did link it with autism a few years back. He has since lost his license because researchers found the data was falsified and that his research was fake. Most doctors will strongly encourage parents to get their kids vaccinated.